very good morning students i hope you all are doing well you are you all are as fit as fiddle and absolutely think in health isn't it okay so children today we are going to learn a new poem okay we're going to learn a poem which is given in your textbook all right so before we begin this poem let me ask certain questions to you all right so i hope all of you are ready to answer my questions okay so first of all tell me do you live with your parents all of you live with your parents okay so what are your most hidden fears relating to your parents what are you scared of yes all right so our basic fear is that we don't want to lose our parents isn't it and we know that there is a age gap between us and our parents and we always have this fear that we may lose our parents we might lose our parents isn't it so we always pray to god that our parents should remain healthy and fit and they should live long isn't it this is our wish this is wish of every child that his or her parents should live long <laughs> so the poem which we are going to do now is called my mother at 66 my mother at 66 so what is here my mother my mother means poet's mother Okay, so we are going to discuss poetry. And what is sixty-six? Sixty-six is the age of sixty. Okay, so this poem is by a very famous Malayalam poetess whose origin is uh, from Kerala, and she's uh, she was a great uh, Indian poet who used to write in English. She was a poet. She was a novelist and a short story writer. Her name is Kamla Das. She had her pen name as Madhuri Kutti. Okay, her pen name was Madhuri Kutti. So this uh, girl, Kamla Das or Madhuri Kutti, in this poem, she is touching uh, human relationships. She is uh, touching some aspects of the human relationship. She, uh, in this poem, in this particular poem, my mother at sixty-six, uh, she is discussing about aging. aging and its consequences aging means um as you age your age progresses you tend to look old and old age uh, tells about the imminent death all right so in this particular poem poetess is thinking about her mother who is sitting beside her okay and she's thinking she's seeing her face she's she's, she's seeing the face of her mother and how her mother she used to be very very beautiful and young Okay, earlier when the, uh, this uh, poet poet this used to be small, but now uh, this girl is grown up, Kamala Das. Okay, and um, her mother is getting older and older, and now she has turned sixty uh, six. Okay, and uh, she is uh, comparing her mother, uh, who is sitting inside the car, to the outside scenario, so as to distract her mind. So we'll be dealing with all those vivid images which will be coming in the poem. Also. she wants to give us this lesson that uh, there is a conflict as we grow in life there is a conflict between our aspirations and our responsibilities are ideally uh, we have to be responsible towards our parents because as parents have made us uh, such big similarly we also have responsibilities towards our parents but uh, as we young generation have so many aspirations we are unable to fulfill uh, fulfill those uh, uh thinks those responsibilities so there is a conflict which is coming in the mind of the poetess while she is driving from home to cochin towards the cochin airport okay uh, she uh, okay so let us start the poem this was all about the introduction of the poem i hope you are going to like it so as we'll read the poem we we'll try to read it with proper intonation with proper pronunciation okay and then difficult words meaning i'm going to tell you side by side we'll be uh, doing our puzzling out technique which, which we always do in our classes okay and then i'll be telling you meaning of different phrases which will be coming in the poem then literary devices which will be coming in the poem because uh, in your board examination literary devices 
is one of the favorite topic of the examiners. They do ask questions from it. So um, let's start with the poem. Take a deep breath. Have water. Okay. Then we'll begin with the poem. Giving you all one second. I'll give you India 20 seconds break. We all have water, and then just come with me, and we'll be uh, discussing this poem. <laughs> 